we are off to a gaming market in London and we're going to ask three questions. What's a gaming market? Should you go to it? And is it worth the money? So let's go. So at the Royal National Hotel, and don't worry, I'm not going to talk the whole way through this video. I'm going to leave you to see the place for what it is, but I will have little brief cuts in the video where I will talk to you about what this place is and what's going on. That's a PlayStation Portal. I can't say I've ever seen one in the wild. Um, were they popular? Zelda A Link to the Past has to be one of the first games I ever played. Um, and even when I played it, it was quite old. So that's all I'm gonna say for that. But still amazing to see it in box. So firstly, what's a gaming market? Well, it seems to be a collection of game memorabilia, games, merch, and anything to do with game. And these are all retros and quite hard titles to find. Also, it helps to plug in your microphone when you record these bits outside. Yep, microphone's still not plugged in. So should you go? Well, if you're into games and you are looking for something in particular, then this might be the place for you because you can actually see the games and see the quality of them and like, if they've got boxes and whatnot. Plus, it's just a nice day out as well.
this is a lucky dip for Pokemon cards. So these were 50p for um, one card. Um, what do you think? We've got 10 cards in total. Kid the Pro really wanted to try. So five pounds for these cards, worth it or not? And here's something you won't hear me say every day, that that is one fluffy Charmander. So is it worth it? Well, you'll be happy to know I've actually plugged my mic in and it's going to work now. So um, I can give you a real answer. I think it is worth it. However, if you're not really into retro games, probably don't come to it because that's all you're going to find here is lots of retro games and merchandise for it. But I'm sure you can tell it's extremely loud there. So what I was saying was if you're looking for a particular vintage game or retro one, then this is the place to be. And the same thing can be said for any of the merchandise or comic book you see. So this is a gaming market in London. Now, I'm with Kid the Pro today, and what did you think? It was so fun, I loved it. There you go. So that is the modern generation's take on this gaming market. I mean, I'm sure you didn't know what most of them games were, did you? <laughs> Have you heard of any consoles? Like no. the, the uh, what's it, Dreamcast, Nintendo no. GameCube, Nintendo NES, Super Nintendo. What else? There was a Commodore 64 there as well. Did you hear of that? No. So he didn't know what they were, but that's, that's, we've got to keep it alive. You know, we've got to do the education. So London gaming markets, check them out. This is not a sponsored video. I just wanted to check one out myself because I'd never been. And that is what I'm trying to do this year is to do new things I've never done before. And I've got some really cool content planned. So make sure you subscribe because it means a lot to me. And I want to show you these new things and exciting things that I'm trying to get out there. I know it takes me a while to do some of the videos I do, but that is me. Um, I'd rather just spend some time and do a video that I want to do than just throw out, throw out, throw out content. Make sure you click here to subscribe. Click there to see a video you've never seen before and click here to see the last video I released. I, I know, um, it's this new thing I'm trying at the end of the videos where I have like uh, 15 seconds of pop-ups so it doesn't block the video I showed earlier. But if you like it, then I'm going to use it in all my videos. So make sure you're commenting. Goodbye.